how to process and obtain your Nigerian international passport in 2023. This passport, whenever you travel around the world, it is also known as the green passport in Nigeria. Watch the video, guys hello viewers welcome back to machine art channel and if you're joining us for the first time welcome today we will be doing a video on how to get your nigerian international passport in 2023 this is what is called nigerian international passport all right so why do people need this passport people need this passport to enable them travel within and out of africa to enable them travel around the world then is that all the benefit there is to having your international passport no there are other benefits like when you want to carry out some sort of verification to prove that you are a nigerian either when you're carrying out a transaction or maybe during an administrative process then you might use your international passport as a proof that you are a citizen of your country all right so here in nigeria you cannot take a plane outside the country, outside the West African states region, that's the West African region, without having a visa. And when you want to apply for a visa, you must have a passport. Then when you have a visa, you will need to buy a ticket that will enable you travel. But if you're traveling just within West Africa, then you will need just this passport. You can just go get your ticket if you're a Nigerian and you want to travel to Benin Republic, to Togo, Ghana, to Mali, to Senegal, to uh, Syria, Leone, Liberia, Cote d'Ivoire, and so on and so forth then you will need this passport all right how do you go about acquiring this passport you know the way we we used to acquire this passport in time past has changed it was so easy like this is one of my old passports it was very very easy to acquire your nigerian passport when you go to the immigration office and you want to process your Nigeria international passport, all you needed in time pass was one, your birth certificate, and two, your indigent form that proves that you are a Nigerian, right? Then when you apply for this passport, when you go to the immigration office and you just pay, or look for an agent you will be able to get your passport within 24 to 48 hours like it, it didn't used to be hectic like it is these days but are there advantages why has the nigerian government decided to adopt these methods now this is how you get your passport in 2023 and the reason is to ensure that you are a nigerian beyond reasonable doubt your passport these days can tell every story or give every detail that's more than one detail more than just having a passport number that you are a nigerian all right so if you want to apply for your nigerian international passport the first thing you need to have or you need to know is that you must have your nigerian national id card there is a video on this channel on how to acquire your nigerian national id card 
there are people that have been encountering problems trying to acquire their Nigerian uh, national ID card. Reason is because they have done their capturing before, they have uh, a, a, a done the process before, they have already uh, did all the necessary capturing in the computer and have been registered. But because they didn't collect the tracking ID slip that would enable them to go back and track, and because they didn't go back and tell the people doing the national identification card or the office that they have done the capturing initially, they continuously face problems. Like they go back and say they want to do their Nigerian international passport, they will go ahead and capture them and do everything after taking all their pictures taking their pictures their fingerprints and so on and so forth and give them the time that they are to come back and print their nigeria international uh, nigeria national id card when they go back they find out that they cannot be found that the card cannot be found reason is simple they have done it before nigeria national identification card can be done only once. If there is any changes, or if if there is any change, or there are changes you want to effect on your Nigerian national ID card, it must be effected on the old national ID card. Like you want to change your picture, like you want to change your name, your address, and so on and so forth but you must go back and tell them you have done the the registration before and now you're trying to effect a change all right so all they need to do is to track and print it out then you can go ahead and effect the change on the very national id card this card cannot be done twice only changes can be effected all right so you see you have to get your national id card i'm saying this because i know that there are some people who for one reason or the other cannot get their nigeria international passport simply because they have been encountering problems trying to process their nigerian national id cards all right so once you get your nigerian national id card you proceed to the next stage all right guys after registering for your passport you will be given these documents the information on the documents on the first slip will carry your passport details it will carry your personal details it will carry your contact information nest of kin details and the fee details all right then next the you will have another slip that will carry your appointment date the tracking number and it will also carry your personal and contact details all right instruction on things you need to come along with to carry out your capturing is also here like you need to be present with your photocopy of national identification number your application letter passport booklet photocopy of the data page of your passport, evidence of payments, and the instruction on things you need to involve you going to the immigration office. You can go to the immigration office in your state, or you can go to the Nigerian Immigration Office headquarters, which is at Soka, around airport area. You can just take a vehicle or you drive down to Soka around airport and you go to Nigeria immigration. Then you go to their cyber camp. Just ask where you can register for your Nigeria international passport. Then once you go there, you will pay a stipulated amount. The cyber cafe will communicate you and the amount you're going to pay will include their charges. However, the printout that the receipt is not going to carry the exact amount because of the charges, right? So 
once you pay, you'll be given a printout that's a receipt and some document that will tell your tracking ID and so on and so forth, your national ID number and even the date that you will come back or go back for capturing. Take a look at what the printout or document you will be given or issued after paying for your Nigeria International Passport registration. After capturing, you will be given a slip like this. You will need to come back with this slip after capturing on the day of collection. Like you see here, the name is there, the passport number is there, and the length of time before collection, all right? Now, if you had a passport before, that's an old passport, and you were trying to do what? You were trying to renew the passport because the passport has expired or damaged then you must communicate then at the cyber cafe that you are trying to renew your nigerian international passport don't tell them that it is a new passport reason is this when you are issued your new passport your new passport is going to carry your new passport number and the old passport number. For example, this is a cover page of what my renewed Nigeria International Passport looks like. If you take a look, you will be able to see the old passport number and the new passport number. This is the reason why you tell them that it is for renewal. If it is the case of the damaged passport, that you know that you can no longer use that passport for proceedings, then you might have had a snapshot or a scanned copy of the cover page of your passport, which carries your passport number. Then you will register saying that you have a damaged passport you are to renew. The damaged passport might not be expired it might be expired all right then we have cases where you are trying to have your passport for the first time all right so once you go to the immigration on the day of your capturing and show to grace well you you want the picture that will be appearing on your passport to look responsible all right then you go there, ensure that you follow all the due process, do your capturing, they will take your fingerprint and everything, just the way they took your fingerprint during your Nigeria national ID card. That is the way they will take your fingerprint, your picture and everything, all right? The information, there is one thing worthy of note when trying to process your Nigeria international passport, else, you might end up not processing this passport. You might just end up wasting your money and you will have to reapply, all right? You must make sure that the information on your Nigerian ID card, national ID card, is the same with the information you are going to be supplying them on uh, uh, for your Nigerian international passport. For instance, your name must be the same. If for any reason you want a change to be effected on your Nigerian international passport, then you must effect that change first on your Nigerian ID card. When you effect it, then you can come back and effect it on your Nigerian international passport. This international passport alone even without the ID card, can give proof, at least two proof, that you are a Nigerian. One, just see the Nigerian name number, that's, that's national ID card number. The person would be able to track you through the computer using your Nigerian national ID card number. 
to know if you are a Nigerian, then using the Nigeria International Passport number, they will be able to track you as well. This is the reason why they now use your Nigeria National ID card number instead of requesting for your indigenous form and date certificate, all right? So once you're through with your capturing, by ensuring that on the day of your capturing, the information on your national, uh, international passport is the same with the information on your Nigerian ID card. When I went for the capturing this 2023 January, what they told me was to come back in three weeks. In three weeks, I went back. The passport was not ready. But it was in quotes, meaning that it was in progress. No problems at all. Then I left in order to return when it is ready. Then just when I left, I didn't know that the passport became ready for collection that very day. But I gave myself two to three weeks, then went back and find out that the passport was ready all right so why am i doing this video you might be in america and you feel or maybe europe south america australia you know some other parts of africa and so on and so forth and you feel like when you come back to renew your nigerian international passport in order to go and get your visa Restamped or apply for a new visa that is going to be so easy, or that you are within the ECOMOC country, you know, ECOWAS. If you're within the ECOWAS country, that's the economic west, uh, economic community of the West African states. That when you come back to reapply for the renewal of your passport, that you're going to get it within 24 to 48 hours. The system has changed, guys. It's no longer what it used to be. Like, you could just relax. You know, a week or some days before you travel, you just go to immigration office and just go and do your capture and everything and expect that your passport will be ready that very day or even the next day. It no longer applies that way. So when you're coming back, for your passport renewal. You need to understand that except you'll be going back and coming back, like you'll be going back and forth. After registration, you go back. After capturing, you go back. Then during collection, you come around, then you go back again. Except you're going to do it that way. You will need like three months straight to be in this country. Just trying to renew your passport right this is the reason why i am making this video as it was it no longer is all right so you have to take note of what is happening you have to take note of how to correctly get your nigeria international passport as a nigerian this is your ticket you know to go round, 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 round the globe, you know? So you have to know what's happening. You have to know what's happening with this, all right? So please, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, that you have to know that you need your Nigerian national ID card, and you have to state on the day of your registration whether you are getting a new passport, you are renewing an expired passport or even a damaged passport, all right? So please subscribe to this channel and like, share, suggest, comment on this video. I hope that this video was helpful. Peace.